morning everybody, it's Jean here. Jean True Love from True Love Quilts for you. I have um, several True Love Challenge quilts um, that I want to share with you guys. I have a whole waiting list of them. So in the, the next many videos to come, I'll be sharing just a few a week. Um, today is March the 13th and it is the deadline for the True 15th. Love Challenge quilt. It's the 15th. What day is it? The 15th. Oh, thank you, Max. <laughs> Today is March 15th, is it? Yes. Oh, and that was the deadline. Oh, yeah, thank you, Max. Oh, Max, I was right there. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Today is March 15th, and that is the deadline for the True Love Challenge entries to be sent to me. Um, I know quite a few of you have sent them in feverishly the last few uh, days, and I have gotten every one of them. Um, it's, it's a process to, to go back in my emails and download them, so please be patient with me. I will get to you. So I have just a few of them to share, um, but I did want to just say um, before the, the, my uh, videos that I'm going to be showing you, the, the quilts, um, over the weekend we had a very busy weekend and a very, very special weekend. Um, some of you may know that we're Jehovah's Witnesses and our family and our, our friends um, in the congregation. We had a lovely get-together um, after a very special event that took place. Our son Maxwell, as you know, our 22-year-old son, he, um, in the last few months, in the last few years after studying the Bible, he's made a dedication to his God, Jehovah, and he was symbolizing that dedication by water baptism. Um, it's an outward expression of his uh, desire to, even as imperfect people, to serve our God the best we can. And my husband, Ian, had the <clears throat> privilege of actually baptizing him. The pool that ba Maxwell was baptized in is right outside of our, our little bedroom here, bedroom area, in our son's home. He has an indoor lap pool and a hot tub. And Maxwell um, was baptized in the hot tub by, by his dad. And it was so very, very special. It was just um, because of Zoom, we have not yet resumed our meetings at our, at our local kingdom halls around the world because of the pandemic. And that's to keep everybody safe um, because we value life. We have not knocked on people's doors. We've um, um, stopped our preaching work in uh, center cities and our cart witnessing, but we have, um, we've written letters and the preaching work continues. Um, so uh, via Zoom, with only about seven people in attendance here at the home, uh, Maxwell was baptized. Very, very special. Um, afterwards, the entire, my entire family, all ten of our children, their spouses, and a million grandkids, um, and, just, and, and our friends Jared and Ying, um, and my little Asian friend Ying and her husband and their four babies, their two new little babies, their twins, they came, we went to a dinner uh, um, at the, um, what called the Pineville Tavern, beautiful, beautiful restaurant. And it was funny because it's just our family, and it was sort of last minute that my son Jordan was planning it. He says, we must have a little get together for Maxwell after his baptism. And so he, he called around certain places. And of course, um, there was 40 of us, <laughs> three pregnant daughter-in-laws. So there'll be many more. Um, he called around and they're like, oh yeah, you can rent a room and it's you know X amount of head and we need thousands down type of thing. Last minute and, and he, was, he, he called about six places. And it was very expensive. Anyway, he finally called this place, which is fairly local. And, and um, he said, this is a, a family dinner. And, and the girl goes, whoa, whoa, like, it's for 40 people. Well, how big's your family? And he, he literally said, well, I'm one of 10 and our, all of our you know, grandchildren. And he, she, he explained the occasion. And the, the girl went, actually, she got, I'm one of 12. Big family problems, right? Uh, just a family get together. She said, "You can." She said, "It's empty. You can have the whole room upstairs, little banquet room upstairs, and we don't. We won't even charge you." So we had. We all. It was so nice. Let's spare the moment. So it was just our family in the upstairs room, forty of us. So it was a lovely occasion. I'm just going to put up a few pictures of that right now. I think you'll. I think you'll enjoy them.
so that was our weekend and congratulations to our Maxwell is so awesome wonderful wonderful news um, I am going to now share a few of our quilts that I've received from my true love quilt challenge as you know I won't bore you because my fabrics over there if you're new here I had um, back in November October when it was uh, a gave six month period of um, making quilt a quilt a small quilt from the six fabrics that I have chosen I chose that you guys had to make a small quilt with using five at least five of those fabrics and any other fabrics and as you can on my playlist you can go back and see the beautiful unique creations that people have come up with using my fabrics myself included my friend Jen and a, a dozen or so more that I've showcased and so that's what this challenge is all about um, again, you can see the, the, um, all the information on my initial playlist there. But this quilt is from, coming from Joanne. And as I said, so many people could not get the same fabrics. But um, because there were specific fabrics that might have gone out of print or their local quilt shop or online didn't have them. So they would choose similar too. So this one is from uh, Jen and this is from, hi Jen and Jean. This is from Joanne. You know who you are. Thanks for your quilt challenge. I'm, I'm, my name is John. I live in um, Saskatchewan, Canada. I live 50 miles from a quilt store and I have bad eyes so cannot drive. So I have to take, depend on someone else to take me shopping. So I decided to shop my stash. Red is my favorite color. Good on you, Joanne. So I was lucky to, enough to find what I needed in the red tones in my stash. My mother is going to be 89 in March, so I decided to give her this quilt as a gift. That's why I made the, that's why I made the pattern Grandmother's Inspiration. I have a mid-arm quilting machine, and that is how I did the pantograph. I hand sewed the binding down, which was a bit of a challenge because it was black. All my quilts I have made, I have put a button heart in the top left-hand corner and a label on the back. This is my second challenge, the first one being my Dear Jean quilt. I finished the top now, but I'm looking for the perfect backing. I'll send you pictures and I'll share them, Joanne. My Jen and Jean quilt measures 35 by 46. I had so much fun doing both the challenges. Thank you for inspiring me to go out of my comfort zone. This is just lovely. That was the whole point of this challenge. And again, I reiterate, this was not a, a contest. Everybody's a winner. Um, this now is Joanne's quilt. Well done, Joanne. Is, is is very personalized to both the individual and myself and this is from Terry Terry you know who you are Terry had sent me pretty much a a book of her story and I'm not going to share it I'm not going to read it with you because it, it it's long and it's very personalized and it's very um, poignant and touching the upshot of it was Terry had lost her home during Superstorm Sandy. I'll just read a few a few bits of Terry's story. Um, she she had a little exper sewing experience when her children were little. Her mother taught me how to read patterns. She had had her first uh, machine. She liked making dresses. Blah blah blah. And she went on to fast forward to 2000 onward. She was a, a New Yorker and was extremely devastated, obviously, at the um, World Trade Center was being attacked. She got divorced, lost both her parents. We're so sorry, Terry. A year apart, she had a bad car accident that left me with permanent spine damage and my life changed drastically. So drastically that it's in 2012, Superstorm Sandy hit her home. She was finally settled in. 
This was a lifelong dream that became a short-lived dream after a disaster soon hit afterwards. Superstorm Sandy was particularly devastating to the New Jersey, uh, New York coastline. We're in Pennsylvania. And the area was absolutely decimated. And hundreds, if not thousands, of people lost their homes, their lives. Um, and Terry had witnessed this firsthand. She lost everything. She was crushed. Years of fighting with insurance and FEMA. I've never got to rebuild. I never went home. I had four dogs at the time, and no one wanted to rent to me. I refused to give up my dogs, and they were the reason I survived. I evacuated to save them. They saved me. I was left with a backpack and the four dogs, and I wasn't giving them up. I hunkered down in my daughter and son-in-law's lovely basement for nine weeks with the dogs. Turned out I had 17 foot of water in my home with only the tip of the roof visible. I would have been a goner, surely, had I not evacuated. She suffers from PTSD and so on. It's a, it's a terrible, terrible, sad, sad story. But Terry has triumphed, and she actually did this, this challenge. Thank you so much, Jean, for pushing through your own trials to make something fun for many of us. Just trying to keep busy and keep positive. My goodness, Terry, our hearts go out to you. I've pretty much been at home for two years now. Mm -hmm. Virtual visits have become a way of life for me now. It's all good. It's going to be over soon. We have a very happy future. Um, I pray for the true loves and that we recover from our disaster. I say you don't move on. You move forward. Dear Maxwell is especially dear to me. I hope we continue to see him in your videos. Hi to Jen. What a special friendship you have. So, Terry, our hearts, all of us collectively um, who are watching this, go, our hearts go out to you and your plate and the fact that you've triumphed and that you are moving forward. You are moving forward. Here is, you couldn't find the, the exact fabrics for the quote, but here is your beautiful quote that you shared with us. All the best and all of our love, Terry. So very much Terry. Um, this quote is from Rosemary. Um, Rosemary is sending two emails that consist of the pictures. The first one is a wall hanging that measures 35 by 40. I wanted to make something totally different. Rosemary made five some star blocks from a different project and she loved the way they were created so I wanted to see how they were turn out using the fabrics I chose. I wanted to be able to be their open spaces in this wall hanging. It's so cool. Each section is treated as a separate small quilt, then sewn together. It's not exactly what I had in mind when I started, but I'm happy with the way it turned out anyway. The second quilt was inspired of one of the quilts submitted to the challenge. It had a confetti border. Which one? I forget what, who that is, but you know who it is if you're watching this. 
Um, I loved it so much, I wanted to make a larger quilt with that concept. I decided to use a blue background, which was okay. I'm sure a white background would have been more eye-catching. However, quilts with white backgrounds would not fare well in my home with a non nigerian and two dogs. Um, I, she explains how she actually created this. Uh, she has a bit more fabric left. Note to self, buy more, buy less quantity for the next challenge. I've had a great time with the True Love Quilt Challenge and look forward to the next one. I wonder if there's going to be a next one. <laughs> Thank you for organizing this. I had so much fun. My favorite part is seeing all the other beautiful quilts that have been made. I'm always in awe of the vast differences of each individual's inspiration and their quilted creations. Thank you again, Rosemary. Well, thank you, Rosemary. How absolutely awesome. And here is Rosemary's lovely wall hanging quilt. Quilt, I'm going to wind this up, is from Kathy. Kathy, you know who you are. You are. I'm writing this to explain my challenge quilt. Um, it's a little worry about that. I moved last November to be near my daughter. I was alone over 500 miles away. Um, the movers came on October. We were led to believe my belongings were arriving the next day. Not three weeks later, they finally came, and at least most of them. The move was horrible. I had a sick elderly dog. I had to keep her locked up in my daughter's room. Thank goodness they love each other. When you announced the challenge in fabric choices, I had no fabrics at the time, but and all of my expensive machines were in our two cars, no problem there. But I found the fabrics that you chose. I finally got all of them. I spent a long time trying to come up with a plan. I love scraps and sewing them together, but I also like collage like you and Jen chose. I finally made a decision on a somewhat scrappy, sort of organized plan. I used all six of your fabric choices, added some of my own, and went to the machine. I always piece my blocks again with scraps. I finished the binding on February 27th. I spent hours on my Janome Horizon. I hope you like it. Blessings to you and your family, especially Maxwell. You hear that, Maxwell? Yeah. Yeah, Maxwell's sitting right here. Thank you for helping me make a better time for my terrible move. We've all had some sort of disaster, some sort of horror, some oh, sort no, of... No, oh, no, 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 no. Maxwell in our lives and yet we triumph right keep smiling um I oh p.s I this is from Kathy I did use my Accu quilt go big for cutting my two and a half inch strips my dog is well now thank goodness absolutely um I'm going to upload them with her, with her pictures so here is Kath I did receive your pictures Kathy here is Kathy's pictures of her lovely quilt
today, folks. Again, today is the deadline. It is March 15th. Maxwell just told me that. Thank you so much, Maxwell. And um, again, thank you so very much for all of your support for us and for all of our fellow quilters who have participated in this little challenge, the True Love Quilting Challenge, as fun as it has been, and um, to see all the beautiful things. I will be, again, I have a whole list of people who have made their quilts, have risen to their own challenge, um, and, and uh, created something unique and special to them, especially, but also to us. Thank you so very much, folks. Um, have a lovely, blessed day. Keep safe, keep well, and as always, love from the true loves. Bye-bye.